in fact, good to see. But yeah, something close to the fucking New South Wales. After four or five days of dirt road. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? We're in the middle of, middle of, where are we? Middle of the Northern Territory on a tarred road. Holy dirt. I think we should do a Leyland Rose and drive straight into it. I think you don't make the drag out the other side. That's the middle of the road. <laughs> Swim? Feel like it. Must be 45 degrees at the moment. That's really an highway to 80 k's. Oh look, 130. Wow, 130 we can do. Right, hey, let's see what she can do. <laughs> 130. Pedal to the metal, baby. 1964. Refresh. I reckon we'll get up to 50. Uh, <laughs> uh, we can only do 120 on the old girl. Look, hey. Uh, well, there you go. You don't get that over, over east or over west. Well, I've seen anyway. Anyway, we're going to try and punch out 120 then. Oh, hang on a minute. We're at 55, halfway there. Keep bloody guardrails to keep her on the road. Oh, yeah, she's starting to do the bloody movement. Oh, we've got to oh, oh. slow down. Oh, dear. Hey. We've got the death levels at 50. Yeah, you might need uh, 55. 55. Anyway, I might have to try it in reverse. I'll that's, go quicker in reverse. That's the one. I'm going to call them up. Or, oh, I'd say the guy on the other side would have a sleep with his wall drive. Actually, he'd just go, hey, mate, what's going on there? Yeah. This is the dust after I've been cleaning it. Oh, look at this. Vacuum would be nice. This is what we've been living in. What do you think of the dust, Dad? Yeah, I love it. It's second nature now. You're not orange anymore. <laughs> yeah, I've lost the sun thing. It's a free free fake tan. So we've got an air filter here. We've been through the desert. Realistically, yeah, for all the dust we what was in the car, that's where it went. We we'll change it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joy. 
always have trouble finding the hole, don't you? Did you get the fuel filter? Okay, we're now in Alice Springs. I'm um, going to go to the doctor and sort this problem out. Dad drove through the night, he nailed it. Had a shower, washed our clothes. There's nothing like it when you've been out in the bloody dusty desert. Uh, we're just about to go. Dad's going to drop me off and then he's going to go see about sorting a few things out. Well, this is why you bring your dad along. Get him under the car instead of you. Oh, we're just leaving Alice Springs. Just um, the tire, whatever tire rod arms are steering. Anyway, giving it a little home wheel balance because nothing's open because it's the weekend. We're gonna head down to Uluru. Finally got some medicine from a doctor and it's actually starting to feel better, which is good. So, she's doing a little adjustment because she's not driving <laughs> straight once we hit the tarmac. Yeah, I tried to ring him to book a place to stay and nothing's open. So, again, we might just be going bush. We don't know what we're doing. Just head that way and see what happens. Uh, yeah, probably be able to start filming again probably from now. It's starting to feel a bit better. Hopefully it stays that way. Hey Ronald, <laughs> what do you reckon? The rock, it's behind us mate, <laughs> don't turn around. Well, we finally made it to the rock. It's um, well it's a big rock. <laughs> So again, poor Mika has to miss out. She's just there in the car. We drove through the gate and got the tickets and I was like, Mika, please don't bark, please don't bark. Because the, the caravan park we're staying at has dog sitters, but they don't, I mean, they're closed or something. So we had to sneak in, but she'll stay in the car. It's all right, she's not doing any trouble. Yeah, there's the back end of the race, the best part of it, best side. Oh, hang on, he's down there, <laughs> best part of it. So we just drove around from the other side, it took what, five minutes, you reckon? Yeah. Driving? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that doesn't say much in the slow E age, but. <laughs> She's a big rock. Go and touch the rock. The rock, yeah, it's outside. Oh, I have a nap in there. That, oh, that five degrees cooler here. Yeah. Oh, look. Touch the rock. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can um, pause, stop that if you want to read that. It's all this old uh, art. Look at that, it's huge. Damn flies. Have a swim.
Last night we met this Aboriginal man and he um he gave me his stick. But this is what he used, he's saying to keep Aboriginal law. So when one of the fellas play up and done something wrong, he beats him with his stick. And he gave it to me. So don't know how many beatings this stick's been put out, but I've got it now. I'm gonna take that home with me. That was that's pretty cool. You can see just behind me, that's where they used to walk up. Unfortunately, we can't do it, but it's probably for the best. You can see all the water washes. What do you reckon? Big rock? Big rock, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> well, this is the sunset. This is a sunset viewing area. There's, it's packed. We've got a little spot in the middle where there's no one, but it's packed. <laughs> hey buddy. All right, that's it. We just watched the sunset. The sunset over there. <laughs> well, we're facing this way at the rock. Uh, it's a bit <laughs> so we're gonna take off, go find something to eat, and what else? Plan what we're doing tomorrow. <sighs> All right, bye, rock. See you, Dwayne. Get your rocks off. Good morning, we just woke up. We're leaving Ayers Rock now. We're heading to the most central pub in Australia. Where Dad's in the shower. I'm gonna go get coffee and make it with Mika until he's ready. Yeah, hopefully make it to that pub by lunchtime and then head down to Kubapiti. The most central pub called Kilgara in Australia. I've got my dog inside, sitting in the aircon. Got the car, I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there behind that white full drive. And we're just out here. There's a clothesline with shoes. I guess a lot of people have got wet shoes around here, apparently. If you have a look. <laughs> I'll give you a close up. Yeah, so Dad and... We just had a steak in there. We sort of snuck the dog in, but then they were okay with it. So yeah, it's just so hot. It's 43 today. And hopefully today we'll get out of the heat, the Savo. So we just had a beer and a, a steak. Um, don't know, we've just been sitting there using the reception, catching up with family and friends. It's been a while since we've actually been in a place long enough to have a good reception. Yeah, so I'll show you around inside. They've got <laughs> they've got bloody bras and all sorts of things hanging from the roof. So I'll give you a little tour of that. But yeah, so let's go have a look. But check this out here. 
There's a slouch out from a truckie, so man. <laughs> just, uh, that's got a truckie badge on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's the old fella. Old Mika just having a chill in the aircon. There's Dad. Look, he reckons he's lost weight. <laughs> oh, what's going on? You feel me? Better. What do you reckon of the most central pub in Australia? Bloody good, mate. Or two is old. <laughs> Couple of steaks. Snuck the dog in. As long as she stays quiet, we'll be alright, I reckon. Well, I think he left me. <laughs> he just took off. I oh, know he's stopping now. Oh. Actually, I feel like I just crossed the border. And there you go. It's like five degrees colder. <laughs>